All right, well. Fine. Looks like the house is really empty. There's some dog food. Um Very empty things here. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. <laughs> So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well, I just found out yesterday. Well, I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much Got a point. does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. But we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kitty. At least until those walkers outside wander off and... Old Mead's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Alright. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Alrighty. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Good girl. Alrighty. Let's, uh, check some things here. All empty. How can you say that when we've only checked like one fucking oh, whatever? Guessing there's no water. Water's off. Of course it is. No power. Checked up. Uh, my dog Walter. So I guess the dog's name was Walter. Nothing in the fridge. Cleaned out. Mm. What about this dog food? Guess that's all there is is dog food over here. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I hope not either. Alrighty. Mm. Looks like some whiskey on the table. This place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Mm. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. That does look like a heavy table. Alrighty. Mm. How is that? Not exactly my style. You don't say. That's a wonderful family portrait. All right, let's speak with Krista and I'll meet here. Hey How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. Hmm. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. 
Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Yeah. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm alright. You look like you're in a lot of pain. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. Hopefully. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Alrighty. And then let's go ahead and check with Clementine here. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Okay. Let's begin with this door over here. Alright. On my mark. Nothing hiding in here. Just a restroom. With, uh... You know, non-working water. Let's check this door. Hmm. Another closet. All clear in here. Or just one closet so far. I don't know how many closets are in this house. One more to check. Don't necessarily um check all the rooms here. Don't bother clicking on the stairs. Open it. Jesus! Ha! A mop. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. All right. I think that's everything. Hasn't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Not a problem. It looks like Omid okay? is uh, taking yeah, a bit of a rest. Yeah. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around. Unfortunately. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What really? has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine. You sure? We, I mean, I've been trying to help you since Please. day one. Lee, you need to get up here now. What the wrong? hell's going on? It's Kenny. Oh great. What's going on with Kenny now? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Alright. Well, Stay here. we are his friend. Let's go ahead and check on him. Hmm. Kenny? What's going on here? Hey, Kenny, you okay, buddy? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness. Kind of looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. 
Jesus Christ. Seems that way. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Mm, well, come on, Kenny. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Here. Here. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. You can do it, buddy. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Interesting enough, but at least well, there was only one walker in the house, and um, too bad I happened to be a little boy, starved to death, no parents. It looks like. It would make the most sense that we uh, should bury the boy with his dog. He seemed to have liked that dog a lot. Noting the picture on the refrigerator. Knowing the picture in the living room. So let's go on ahead and uh, place him where he rightfully belongs. Alright, let's go on ahead and uh, start digging this up. Now, the first time I saw this, uh, I was actually touched by it. And uh, to this point, I still am a bit touched by it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think I'd go to the extreme to the point to where, you know, if, you know, I found a dead boy and um, he happened to have uh, loved uh, of his pet so much. I don't think I'd actually dig him, you know, with the animal, but, um, Oh, why should it matter? They're both dead. They, um... They can't be together, but at least they can be- Whoa! Who the hell is that? Hey! Hey! How is that? You stay the hell away from us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. Nope. Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Might have been. Hey, Kenny. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. 
They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. Yeah, it's a pretty scary situation. It's time to get back on track. I mean, personally, I've never experienced someone stalking me, but uh, if I ever did, well, get ready, Jesus. I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat, and as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find the typo. I see a typo. Do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place. I more. said I'm done with this house. Whoa. We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful. While me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clementine, it's best if you stay here. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. <sighs> so, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Well, I mean, given the circumstances. That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? You pretty you damn sure anymore. showed it earlier, buddy. Good. Giving you a benefit of the doubt here. Don't fucking fail me. <sighs> Fucking kid.